Oh my gosh! Good morning, good morning my wonderful people. How are you all today? I hope everybody is good. I just want to say hi to all my fans, all my faithful followers, everybody who sends love and positive comments on all our videos well today is a rainy day the intention today was really to go outside and cut the grass in the yard because it's like the grass reaching like knee height we have been getting rain every single day up here in the Cora hills I love the rain but you know sometimes the occasional sun is appreciated what we're going to do today chicken foot soup chicken's feet soup chicken foot soup no you might think chicken foot is you know yes it's good to curry it's good to jeer as cutters throw some pepper inside the pot and chunk it up you know when you're taking your little drink you nibble on a feet or two but did you know that chicken feet are very nutritious they contain a lot of health benefits some of the things in chicken feet collagen an anti-aging property yes you know the little fine lines and thing that are on the eyes and thing frequent consumption of collagen can you know reduce these lines considerably copper calcium magnesium zinc all of which aid in boosting your immunity most times when somebody's sick and they have a fever here yeah, the mother be like you know i will make some chicken foot soup or let me make a chicken foot soup even the chicken foot sauce is good because it's technically a soup as well. It's a perfect day for the soup. Lasana is recovering from an air infection, poor fella. And this soup will be perfect for him. I want to show you something. All right, inside here. This is, this is, this is a cooling. You ever drink cooling when you was younger or you just still drink cooling? Cooling is basically bush tea chilled all right inside here we have fever grass bovine and carakeet so what i did i just washed everything threw it inside the jug and poured some hot water over it let everything steep and just put it in the fridge i'll go give him some i'll have some myself personally uh for me there's no need to heat it up or add sugar or milk just drink it just like that nice cool and refreshing but to those who want to experience the benefits of bush tea but they just cast stomach the taste and they need something to camouflage you can put your sugar you can put your honey my suggestion is if you're heating it up don't put it in the microwave because you're gonna kill off all the healing properties from it just put it in a pot on a stove and they just come up the temperature slowly it's an acquired taste, but <clears throat> good for you. Nice, nice, nice. So these are chicken feet soaking in some lemon water here. All right, what we're going to do is just go in there and cut off the claws. And in the center of the chicken's foot, you know, you tend to get these little um, tough pieces of skin still adhered to the feet. So we'll just cut that off as well as this chicken feet is not for everybody i actually have a friend we'll call him by his alias fresno <laughs> fresno if you're looking at this boy ariel sorry i know you follow me you enjoy my videos with the family but i'm doing some chicken foot today darling some green fig some sweet potato by the market stall this morning, I got a $5 bag of pumpkin. Which usually means that they take a piece of pumpkin that was going bad, cut out the bad pieces, salvage the good pieces, put them in a bag, charge you $5, and for me, there's a deal. I bought these potatoes and carrots last week in the grocery. I find they're going bad real quick, boy. You know, I don't understand what's going on there. But we'll just cut out the bad spots. Use the good ones. Have some pimentos there. Don't know if we hear that thunder in the background. Let me go and get some more things outside. Use husband slippers to go outside. Real rain, real rain. Look at the condition of my yard. It's not that bad, but still, 
It's real bushy. You gotta fix that. Come for some of this oregano. I'll plan back some more seasoning, boy. The seasoning I even get in the sun, it needs to try some parsley. Mm. Maybe a little bit more. Alright. I want to carry all here and show all the condition of my pimento tree down the hill. I haven't given these trees anything like potassium or calcium or... Uh, yeah, look, look at bush now boy. Alright, look at my nice little pimento tree. Laden. It almost looks like cherries on a tree. So what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna pick these. My daughters, they love to pick them. So when they come from school, I'll give them that little chore to do. And I finally get a passion fruit on my passion fruit vine. This is this is very encouraging. I don't know if this variety of banana safe to eat is very small. This is as big as it's going to get, you know. Parsley. All right. I wouldn't put in the oregano inside here to blend up. I'll just throw the stalks in whole, just as is, into the pot, and all the leaves will gently fall off while the cooking process is going on. So I chopped up one large onion and onions are a natural antibiotic so they're gonna help boost your immunity as well. Lots and lots of garlic, pimentos, seed and everything goes in there. Look how nicely blended. This is what I like, to see bits and pieces of the aromatics floating around in the soup. I'm a strainer or my colander, colander, how you pronounce that? I always have problems pronouncing that. But anyway, it's to collect the peelings for our compost. That's real peeling, eh boy. But, you know, mommy has to do it. Now the sweet potato, as you can see from my skin, it's not the um, it's not the freshest, but they did sell it at a discounted price. The bad spots are just on the surface of the skin, and underneath is perfectly fine. Just as with the sweet potato, we just cut the skin off, the bad spots and stuff, and we'll get a perfectly edible aloo. Yeah, man. You see, the potato not that bad. Inside is perfect. Okay, next up we're going to be doing our green figs. Green figs are tricky because green figs contain a glue that stickies up everything. I mean, knife will get it. The pot will get it. Wherever you rest it down, is going to get it. We have a little trick. Oil. Just put a little oil in your hands. And on the knife, cut all the green figs off the stem so that we can just bleed out the sap for a bit. I know it has some ladies peeling green figs. Gosh, sometimes they just have so much on their plate that they start to blame the husband for the mess that the green fig make. I'm not calling names. I did a video some time ago cooking curry green fig and fry bake, so I could put the link in the description below. So the top has been cut off, cut off the bottom. Some people 
run three slits down the green fig. Whatever is easy on your hands, you do it. Just run your knife in there to detach it from the fruit inside. And just gently pull away the green bits. Yeah, man. Getting through. Nice and easy. What an accomplishment to get your green fig out of the jacket hole, eh? I'm telling you. And immediately into the water because we don't want it to get brown. I love green fig. When I tell you I love green fig. Hey, hey. This fella nearly get through away, boy. We can have that happening, now. Huh? You feel it gets away, Mr. Fig? Lovely, so the green figs are well organized. As you could see, there's not much sticky or sappy residue remaining. Cleanup was quick. On to our pumpkin. And this is some excellent pieces of pumpkin. Let me tell all you about pumpkin and pumpkin skin. Pumpkin is rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. It also helps to boost collagen production. The pumpkin skin contains magnesium, zinc. It also contains something called selenium, which all these things contribute towards a healthier heart. The pumpkin skin can actually help lower the bad cholesterol in the body, which creates an overall heart healthy person. Now understand what I'm saying. Don't go and just buy a thousand pound of pumpkin and pumpkin skin and just eat pumpkin whole day. Of course you have to look at the other things that you're putting into your body as well as your exercise and something as simple as water. I will leave the skin on some of the pieces and take off some because we have a baby called Suri and she will spit it out. Even when you're doing chunky veg, you can cube them up the size of the other vegetables that you're putting into your pan with the skin on and it's very delicious. Pan fry them, oven roast them, just a little honey, just a little salt, just a little sugar. Go on the Google and Google it. You go find plenty, plenty recipe on the Google. And to my friends who don't like pumpkin, I still love all you. We ain't gonna throw away our friendship over pumpkin and pumpkin skin. Sara, how you feeling? I'm feeling like a soca coming on. A soca coming on. But here this now, we're not chop up the nails from your chicken feet. You know, sometimes doing that could be a bit tedious. So, you know, if you want to get a clip off. Yeah. I'll have victory. I will not be defeated. <laughs> you know, when we went to the grocery, it's on our foot, this bill. You are now going to get a clip of catch me, son, bro. You might put your foot down. This is my chopping block. This is my chopper. Alright, so what we'll do. We'll just take each individual foot and just lightly chop. Well, you might hear some noise, eh? Lightly chop. There's a tendon there too, so make sure your blade is a little sharp to cut through the tendon. And a chicken foot only has four toes. So don't be going and looking for five. Is yeah, nah, I don't wanna. So I'll just slice them off. Or you could scrape them off. Alright, this little piece of thing there too. You go in. Repeat several times. Be careful because these things tend to fly sometimes. Even though it's not attached to the wing. Funny, eh? What it is pitch. If I hear a man say, wait boy, that chicken, that chicken toenail pitch in my eye. I see about walking. What are you eating there? Good Where's that? Where's that? Ice cream. Ice cream? Where you get ice cream? Mm. 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 I will not give this to my dog to eat. I mean, for obvious reasons, right? So, chicken feet, right? Their feet. Which means they would have had a lot of contact with the ground. And chicken don't wear shoes. <laughs> Feet, they're looking clean. They appear to be well cleaned. And I wash them several times and stuff. But there's one more step. Cutting up some water in my kettle. 
This water is hot, boiling hot. We're going to pour it over my chicken feet just to scald them a bit. And it's just a comfort to me. What this is going to do is just lift off any impurities that might have been there and kill any bacteria or germs that might be lingering. Even though we washed them a million times already, you never could tell, right? So just better safe than sorry. And while that hot up, I'm going to carry my compost. Today I'll put them underneath the breadfruit tree, like the rain drizzling. Oh, just it wouldn't hurt anybody. There's some mist coming off of the mountains. I'll show you all that. You see? Whether it's sun or rain, there's always something beautiful to see in Cora. Hibiscus. There is my breadfruit tree. Across this drain, I don't really try and see if I could cut this yet. I got this breadfruit tree last year, um, April, from Royal Bermudez. Right, I will put a link in the description below on his Facebook page. Royal Bermudez is a very good guy. All right, so we just throw that underneath there. I want to go just take its time, break down naturally. You know, Royal Bermuda is someone who believes in breadfruit. He believes in becoming self-sustainable. He always promotes the economic benefits of planting your own trees and your own crops and stuff. He's the Santa Claus of breadfruit trees, and you'll see what I'm talking about when you visit his page. All right, so we just throw any hot water all over the feet. Kind of like a spa situation taking place. Sure. Right, so we're just going to let that sit there in the hot water for about three minutes. And then we'll give it a, another rinse and start to cook. You want dumpling in the soup? However you're making it, I'm eating it. I feel, I feel you are a little dumpling. I feel you want to put some dumpling. And them girls love dumpling, you know. But not cow tongue, eh? No, 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 no. Cow tongue is not for chicken foot soup. We will put a hundred small dumplings in it. A hundred. A hundred. Ellis's hundred dumpling chicken foot soup. All right. Yeah? So a good one. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. All right, we're just gonna drain the chicken feet from that. Can't help it, you know, Fresno. Every time I watch my chicken foot, I remember your boy. Rinse them with warm water. Then I'm gonna rinse with warm water. Add pepper and the fresh season I just showed you all earlier and some of the fresh seasoning I showed you all earlier and then we're going to chunk it. I just chunk in my foot. You like it when I chunk in my foot? When they say chunk it, but what do you want? Put some oil and... Chunk it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice man. Something good. Yeah? Yeah. I told them how you're not feeling well, boy. Yeah, man. But I like how you come and you're joining. Yeah. You know? Salt, black pepper, chopped green seasoning. So I want to send a shout out to Miguel Janice. Let me tell you again. Janice reached out to me last week offering to find the burners to my store. This girl lives quite in the States and she reached out to me offering to help find the bonus to the stove. But what I told her is that I just save up my money and you know buy a new stove. Thank you, Janice. We chat every day now. She's like a breath of fresh air. Train a little oil inside it. Eh? Just throwing it in. You ready for the two hour? There you go. Alright, let me see. We won't get it. You get it, man. Yeah, Wow. I kind of wow. Don't get everything. You know them, them looking at like they grabbing them green figures on them. Yeah, for real, look, man. 
you put scrub in the um. Yeah, boy. <laughs> you sure they put that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't wait for nothing. Just throw water. Just throw water. The soup is I think it is trying to start off to make it small, but it is not big. I, I could never make a small pot of soup. Never? Never. Oregano goes in just like you that. Know. I can't pronounce this. I could never pronounce this. Bouillon. 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 No, I don't have an I after the L. Bouillon. Bouillon cube. We're going to put into Maggi cube. So I'm sure this happened to Oli already where you thought you had a pack of chicken with those soup. And then when you go looking for it, you couldn't find it. So I'm not gonna make us a problem. I have some spaghetti. And I'll just break them up into nice bite-sized pieces. I have a dumpling flour from a hundred dumpling. Just add about two tablespoons more of seasoning to the pot and then I'll show you how I make my dumplings real small and real quick. You don't want to blink because you might miss it. 100 dumplings. So our dumplings, right? Just have some dry flour on the side there. And you know, prime up your hands a bit so that the dough wouldn't stick to your hands. And this is the size of my dumplings. And you just do that and into the pot and repeat several times see how quick it's almost like a little dance like a nice little dumpling dance 14 15 52 53 98 99 one hundred. Yeah, man. Hundred dumpling soup. It, my soup is bubbling away nicely. I'll give you a close-up shot just now. But I just wanted to reiterate that you know a soup, a pot of soup is fully customizable. You can put whatever you want in your soup. Corn. You can add corn from the can. Baby corn mushrooms, cabbage, tomatoes, whatever you want is whatever you feel to eat. You know in the Caribbean we love our provision and dumplings and chicken noodle. I'm so vexed I never had a chicken noodle but the spaghetti working out real good. I see how it bubbling. Yeah that's what you want. That's what you want. That's correct. All right at this point everything is more or less cooked. Eh? I've tested everything, everything is cooked. But what I want to do is let the vegetables sort of break down a bit more to contribute towards thickening the sauce. Let's go outside and see if we see some friends. So we had to go and pick up the boss lady, sorry. Afternoon. Hi. Hi. Nice. All right, nice. Thank you. Bye. How was the day at school? Good. What you learn today? I just want to ABCD to my teacher's school. Really? Yeah. Okay. You get homework? Yeah. How much I homework you get? Uh, 15. 15 homework today? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I want this among us. You got a big bowl there, boy. Yeah. Alright, let me see. Always when you open your pot. You let that liquid fall back into the pot, right? Don't waste that sauce. Right? So let me give him a little turn up and see. Ooh! 
Sana. Look. The sauce nice. The perfect thickness and consistency that I wanted. I didn't want it too thick like pudding. Right? A little bit of everything. I churn on the way. Eh? Get a smaller bowl, please. <laughs> Talk about cheering my foot. Yeah, some pumpkin skin there. Lasana said he likes that. Some sauce. Final product. Man wanted a big Christmas bowl of soup. I need to put a pot spoon. Go ahead, go ahead, let me see you. Please open this. Ay, ay, ay. Just mm -hmm. what the doctor ordered. I'm feeling better already. I'm telling you, boy. He's in real boss. See the green salad I put for you? Yeah, boy, that we. Yes, beat him, beat him. Give him a nice little shower. Taste some of the ready pepper now. I'm going to come up and I can do juice. Yeah, sit down. How did you get easy with that, boy? Yeah, sit down, sit down. There's a hundred dumplings I put in that, too. So this is, this is the first out of the hundred then? I don't know, that looks like number 63. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Lasana really enjoy that that soup boy. Um, I ain't mine yet. I still had to pick up the two girls, and I saved my belly to eat with them because because I just miss them so much during the day. You know what I mean? How was all your day? Good. It was good. Yeah. Um, I made soup. <gasps> soup. What? It's called the hundred dumpling chicken foot soup. Hundred dumplings. Yeah, I put a hundred dumplings in it. Okay. Because well, I love dumplings so much. Okay. All right. I am now eating snacks from a toilet. Sadie couldn't wait for the soup at home, so she eating from a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the oh, they're looking rosy, boy. Rosy. Yeah. Some fresh green salad in my soup. It's time for me to eat. Correct or not correct? Approved. Approved. Let me tell you something. I can't tell you nothing. You can just have to try it for yourself and see for yourself. Mm-hmm. Papa mm -hmm. <coughs> make my claim truth, which is a good sign. I would say ten out of ten. Full marks. As with crab, I have an extra plate one side so to put my chicken for the bone. And just holy foot. And you apply sort of like the same concept as you would when you're eating crab. Real good. The chicken foot so tender you could pull it apart. I, I have in this soup and I feel like strength coming back into my bones and some of veins. Oh. Until next time, be happy, be safe.